Hey, how's it going guys? In my other video on 6 things to know before building a PC, I got a lot of feedback for implying that you should use an anti-static wrist strap to ground yourself and not mentioning the other free way to ground yourself. I want to clear that up in this video. Let's start off by asking, what does an anti-static wrist strap do? Well, basically, it's a way to ground or earth yourself to prevent the buildup of static electricity in your body when touching your parts. Otherwise, there's a chance you may short it out. So, does this mean you need an anti-static wrist strap? No. Actually, all you really need to do to ground yourself could be to touch, like, the metal part of your case. It's usually the easiest way to do this, but I hear this is more so called bonding, where you equalize the charge between you and the case. A better way would be to touch the metal part of your power supply, or hook it onto your case while it's plugged into a good working wall outlet, but turned off, and by doing this the case is now grounded, and you can just touch it then. It's good to touch it once every few minutes while making your build. Another thing I'd like to add is work in an area where there is hardwood flooring and keep your case on it. That way you'll have a less chance of creating a charge. I'll be honest though, <laughs> the rookie mistake I made was that I built mine on carpet flooring with socks on. Yeah, definitely not a good idea, but thankfully I didn't short circuit anything. I personally just recommend an anti-static wrist strap to people who are building for the first time, especially if they have carpet flooring in their house and if they may tend to forget to touch anything metal while walking around carpet flooring or something like that. It's also pretty cheap and I always like to say better safe than sorry, but again, you don't need an anti-static wrist strap. You can just touch something like the metal part of your case with the power supply equipped and plugged in, but turned off or just the power supply and you'll be fine. It's really just a precaution to prevent yourself from short-circuiting your components. I hope this video clears some stuff up. Check the description in case if I missed out on anything and let me know if there's another video you want to see. Thanks for watching!